hello guys i'm glad you're back with me to complete the rest of the process on our tote bag making yeah like i mentioned in the first part of this video please ensure to leave your comments and questions in the description box and i'll ensure that i respond to every one of them yeah you can also reach out to me on my instagram handles which i'll be leaving in the links below if you also have other questions that you want to ask me so more than watching this video it really make me happy to see you try it out and you can also get creative by using any other fabric of your choice or even use leather or jean yeah so without wasting much time let's just get started now that we have completed our inner pocket we'll continue the rest of the bag making process so ensure that you watch this process of making these pockets in the other video the link is down below for you to check it out before watching this so at this point i felt that the zipper panel would be too wide so i'm reducing the width to about three inches in total so i took out about three quarter from each side you can leave this if you want you don't need to do this step it's not compulsory i just wanted it to be a bit smaller so, so place the zipper panel on the fabric lining ensure that it's in the center by measuring both sides Ensure that it is facing up and then face this down. This is the upper part of the bag interior. So face it down and these and this are already the same size. So we are just going to pin down. This is what we have. This is what we have on this side. Top stitch on the lining. Need stitches across, and you can see what we have now. This is one side. So I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. For the other side also place the zipper panel on the fabric lining then place the upper side on it facing down and stitch across that way. So now that we have this we have top stitched on the inside as you can see on the two sides and now this is what we have that bag looks like so the next thing now is to stitch these two sides together just like we have done on the outer part of the bag so stitch both sides together we are about a quarter of half an inch quarter of half an inch and then stitch all the way stitch all the way from this side down across here and then here so the two sides down and then here i'll come back so guys here we have I've stitched all the way here this way and this way so now to form the gusset for our interior we're going to come up by two one quarter inches i actually adjusted that to two and a half inches yes because the width of our exterior at the base is five inches wide so we need to have the same size as that so two Two and a half inches here and the same on the other side. On this side we'll go in by two inches. Be careful not to cut outside the line. The next thing to do is to open this hop right like this. Flatten the sides on each other. Flatten them against each other. Ensure that the seams match up. And then make a straight stitch that way. So I'm bringing this closer so you can see. And I'm doing that again. 
just the way you've cut out that part open it up flatten the sides against each other ensure that this the seams are laying on top of each other do a straight stitch that way you can do like half inch or quarter inch repeat the process on the other side So this is what we have at this point. We have the gossets of the base formed out. We have the zip panel formed out and we have stitched on all sides. We are now going to work with the handles. We are going to create straps to hold them firmly. So I'll be using these Ankara pieces that I've cut out. So we need some pieces to hold the bag holders. That's the ring holder. So this long cut of fabric is 6 inches by 3 inches. So I folded by half an inch from the sides for each and then folded again to form a 1 inch wide strap. The other one also is 3.5 inches by 2 inches. I did the same thing to form 1 inch strap which is the same as the width of our ring order. So for the long one, we need four for the bag handles, two for each one. So we have this. Now what we're going to do to each of this one, we're going to stitch on the two sides. So on one side like this, so on one side. We're going to do that for the first. So as I told you before, the four straps, I stitched them on both sides. I use the matching thread so it might be hard for you to notice but I stitch very close to the edges and for this I, I closed up and stitched all the way like this as you can see so this way so we have this turn position this anywhere you would like and pin it together to hold the family so now I brought back our main bag this is the main body of the bag the outer part of the bag that we completed earlier and so to go on we are going to put this inside this this side and press against here press flatly against here and this is where our clip comes and then press against this end open this end also Press them firmly against each other flat. Then we'll be needing this clip here. So clip that side together. Use the clips to hold the interior and exterior parts of the bag together. Holding them together makes it easy for you to sew on your machine. Here I'm trying to be careful with my sewing machine, deal with the thickness of the bag. So I'll be sewing slowly for a while. And here I'm going to insert my ring order at the side seam. I'll be doing my stitches step by step. So I've connected from the side of that here. I've inserted the ring holder and I've sewn right up to here. So I'll do the same on the other side as well before I connect the handles. I've connected this side to this side. As you can see, let me show you very well. I've connected this side to this side. I've attached this. I've attached this also connected here to here. Let's 
So we are left with the center. We need to connect the center. But for the center, we need to put in the strap. But for the center, I've clipped the bag and do here to the position in the inner core where I want it to be. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine now to sew. Here I am working on the second handle. So here our bag is ready and we're just going to work on the long strap of the bag. To make the long strap, I have cut this fabric. It is 76 inches by 4 inches. Now I have folded into width of 1 inch to form my long strap because that is the width of the ring order and other hardware that I'll be using for this fabric. So here I have stitched the two sides. But before I did that, I already pressed on fusible interfacing onto the fabric. So I stitched very closely to the edges on both sides. I'm passing the strap through one of the loops on the strap adjuster, then passing it out on the other side. And from that, I'm going to insert one of the swivel snaps. So pass from that way and back into the strap adjuster. You know, after passing it through the swivel snap, you take it back into the strap adjuster and you bring it out. Then we're going to close it against the other side of it. You see what I'm doing here clearly. And here is what we have. So I'm going to stitch it on the other side that has come in through the swivel snap. So fold that against the other side like I mentioned and stitch down. The other side is very much easier just passing through the second swivel snap, fold over and stitch. 